Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So a quick update on some things that we felt we just would share now instead of in the morning. A large tractor trailer crashed into a home, causing major property damage. This is in Cataract, New Jersey. So we don't know if anybody's been injured or not. This is just unusual, but it makes me think of some posts we had put out there uh, the question that have you guys noticed anything unusual before uh, with maybe a lack of people, you know, as it seem like there's less people around or does it seem that people aren't really uh, functioning as well as they usually do? I, I think that is something that people are noticing in droves. A lot of people with health issues, a lot of people with cognitive problems and, and just maybe uh, not feeling quite themselves, but truckers they tend to be pushed uh to their limits often as they have schedules and things to meet and they're supposed to have a certain amount of time off and you know perhaps sometimes people don't do that but who knows what the case is in this situation i know i feel sorry for these guys because they really do have to push push the natural body limits i mean it, it, unless they're really super dedicated they can't get up and go out and exercise they it's very difficult to get good food on the road they are emotionally stressed because whenever you just sit there and the energy is just building and building and you're not able to do any exercise at all that puts like a negative pressure on the human human soul <laughs> And not to mention the deadlines, not to mention the thoughts about what's going on at home or am I going to make the bills or when, when I do I need to pick up my next trailer. I, these guys, to me, I think they, they have it very rough and it makes me feel sad for them. Yes, absolutely. And we hope nobody was injured in uh, that accident there. Meanwhile, there was a military coup going on in Bolivia, Bolivia of all places, as troops stormed the president's palace. Bolivia was one of the first nations to end diplomatic relations with Israel after its war with Palestine started. And they recently did say they wanted to, uh, the pre you know, the current president had said they want to join BRICS. And then you have a military coup, which ended up failing. Uh, so, you know, this person's thinking, is it about lithium? Is it about natural resources is it a bricks versus nato thing i mean you could see this was not just a couple of guys <laughs> but you know they talked and you know there's also uh footage showing them talk and then you know the general was arrested that led this by his own troops so apparently you know the general said this is what we're doing the, the troops started to do it and then decided otherwise and so very curious uh, you know there's a lot of curious things going on right now out of the blue it seems that algeria and libya might be going to war uh, this is another one just coming up out of the woodwork there is so much uh, geopolitical maneuvering going on on such a huge sc uh, scale right now so the border is in dispute. It was delimited by former colonial powers of France and Italy, and its alignment remains in question up to today. And really, as they say, it's just a lot of sand there. There is some beautiful spots, uh, but you know, you can see that's a lot of troops massed on the border again. Y you have to really wonder when you see these um, photos. What's really going on? Is it just simply massive mobilization going on uh, for maybe something else like the big WW hashtag number three? I don't know. However, when we see this many people together, there there has to be some kind of massive um, reckoning that they need to do. There has to be a major effort to get everything organized because you can't just have this many men and vehicles without having appropriate food and facilities and training and meetings so this is to me this is a, a kind of a big deal to have this many people gathering um, for just no apparent reason 
Yeah, and there's there's numerous people now talking about this. Um, very curious, you know, Russia is is in Libya, uh, so that it makes me wonder. Um, you know, is this again just preparations for the bigger war, which really feels like it's any moment now? Uh, of course, we hope not. And then there's those people that think that if we mention it, if Cindy and I mention that they're, you know, seem to have planned the WW3, uh, there are some people that think we're bringing it about. Little old Cindy and Mike just <laughs> warning people, you better, you know, it's, it's a good idea to be prudent. Now, you know, we didn't cause World War II or World War I, and That's those right. those happened, you know, and, and in fact, we are pretty much pacifists uh, for the most part, you know, so, you know, but still, you know, again, uh, stick your head in the sand, not in these times. No, you got to be alert. You definitely have to be aware of what's going on because, you know, you don't want to be caught unaware and unprepared. And so we're just trying to tell people to be as prepared as possible. We did pick uh, seven pears today. So, you know, the pear trees are producing. Uh, we got more cucumbers than we know what to do with. We will, I'm, go, I'm doing an every other day cucumber uh, juice fast uh, right now. So working on, that's how I'm detoxing. So tomorrow will be just cucumber juice and that's it. And then I'll alternate that with eating mostly keto uh, because, again, in these times, it just seems like everybody has such a strong reaction to simple sugars. Uh, just know, you know, again, what your body is, is, is craving and needing. And they're not always the same craving and needing. But Israel intensely bombing southern Lebanon right now. And, you know, that, that could break out at any point in time. Again, we hope not. Then you get North Korea saying it's going to send troops to Ukraine to fight alongside Russia. That's huge. That's, that's really huge. Now, we know they've been working together with armaments. But if you start seeing soldiers fighting alongside, and by the way, there's, there's plenty of videos that you can find of people from many different countries, many different NATO countries, uh, they're in Ukraine, really, you know, fighting uh, contractors and the like. So, you know, again, let's hope that we can move past this stage as fast as possible. But we can't simply blink it away like I dream a genie and uh, or just say it's not happening. It's not happening and ignore it away. So, again, preparations. Today's Supreme Court decision, if you didn't hear uh, the Supreme Court ruled to upheld to uphold the government's right to pressure media to censor you and I. Uh, yeah, kid you not. So, as Rand Paul is saying, this decision makes it clear we urgently need to defend our God-given right to freedom of expression. It's time to fight back and pass his Free Speech Protection Act. Read every word. Always don't trust anybody, even if they've been mostly saying good things. Uh, so the government can no longer cloak itself in secrecy to undermine the First Amendment rights of Americans. Yeah, it's, it's not, not good, but this is what we are heading into. And a U.S. diplomat found dead in, in a Kiev hotel. One report said that they were suffering from high cholesterol. Uh, no name given, no real situation given. So, uh, yeah, curious to say the least. Talk about beautiful places. This is Algeria. Look at that water. That just looks so amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You know, I mean, gosh, there are places, oddly enough, in the desert that have water and lakes that are exactly like that. And you you would never, ever know that they were there unless, you know, you know where to find them up in the canyons. But yes, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just love to see clean water, clear water. That's how our world should be. And what you're looking at is it wasn't stars, it's human ashes under a high-powered microscope. Kid you not, you know, again, this is a, uh, a fractal universe. And yes, it is a holographic um, representation that you may view as Maya. 
for the Sanskrit term or illusion of sorts. It is a creation that we are here to explore. So again, we go on even when the bodies don't. As you look, we ourselves are a multicolored, beautiful universe. Each one of us is a universe unto ourselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is really cool because I'm looking at the the fractals of light and the different colors. And when I use crystals to pattern people in, into the crystal grid, it just, I don't know, it kind of gives it a really nice visual that, yes, I mean, your cells... Uh, the blood, the everything, it is getting patterned into a very beautiful pattern. So to me, this stuff is, is just wonderful. As are these two cuties. These two cuties. Oh my gosh. Cuteness overload for sure. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Join us on Patreon for exclusive videos several times a week. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.